experimentations and simplicity. That must be the keyword for the two-piece hardcore act called Foon, and they are from Denmark. And they got an EP out called Whatever May Come, and it can be found at Facebook and Soundcloud. This EP seems to be built upon the philosophy of Whatever May Come, cause all the songs on this EP seems to be pointing in all directions. The first song is Bring It On. This is an intro song which calls for a mysterious atmosphere and leads your thoughts into a dark and jungle-like setting. The next song is called Unearthly Child. I assume this song was the first to be recorded for this EP because the guitar sounds very flat and it got a lot of prop noises in. However, the drums steadily develops from jungle-like drums to more advanced drums, but the vocal stays within the same range throughout the whole song. This song is unbroken. This song starts pretty strange, like you are high on drug strange. However, the song gets more sober as, as more instruments and the vocal joints. And this is a more straight on hard rock song than the previous. And the riff that drives this song is very generic. However, the vocal, the vocal shows more aggression and more dimension this song than the previous. The drum got some heavy hanging parts, but it doesn't matter. As the song progresses, it gets more heavier and it leads towards a heavy rock instead. But it suddenly just breaks. I don't like the break, but whatever. I like it as it was, was progressing towards the more heavy rockish, as it kind of show us that Thune could make some song that progresses starting from one point to another. That was nice. And the guitar as well shows that he can play the guitar even probably than previous. It sounds a lot better on this song and the solo is even nailed better. The next song is Salamanda Nils. The name of this song is damn weird. But it's damn groovy. But this is about Salamanda called Nils. But yet, the guitarist could handle the solo. Warning, the first time you hear this song, you might be like, what am I listening to? The next song is called Mirror. This song is the most casual of all their songs. This song shows that they're capable of writing music that isn't experimental. This tune is sort of boring compared to the others, but yet it is a good thing, because in this song it shows that they can write relaxing songs and the vocalist can sound relaxing as well. All in all, this EP feels like a whole thing, despite its weirdness and despite its off moments. You might not get it the first time you listen to it, neither the second, maybe the third. But when you get it, you also got two words stuck in your head. Salamander and Unearthly Child. So if you're into the more experimental part of the hard rock slash metal scene, you should definitely check out Thune. I am the Underground Metal Reviewer. See ya.